Like, is it maybe too much prop the gaming to come back into? I, I mean, absolutely not yet. I, I think once we get maybe below the, the two minute marker in this half, the score is still about that 30 point differential. Pressure is going to be on Optic, but good news for them. They're still on the preferred side, let's say. They just haven't really had an opportunity to get any sort of clearance yet, but you can see the pressure game. They got a lot of bodies in and around the B flag. It seems like it's inevitable that eventually they'll be able to steal the B flag. The question is not how long they straight through, but it's Luca. Man on a mission, it seems. Top B, he's managed to find himself three kills. One player who tried to push through, one player, uh, of course, on the B flag, and then you get the second on B as well. So, that's a fantastic stuff out of him. And I'm not sure if uh, Luke has done just yet, you'll find TJ as well. Luke on a mission. He is living up to the uh, the metal bolt, uh, metal boots sort of roll. Did not want to leave either one of those windows, but again, it seemed like Optic had enough pressure that inevitably they'll be able to get the B flag. And it's an interesting spot. They obviously have quite a bit of pressure over towards A. Dashi might be able to potentially make a play, but he's going to need to find at least two kills to make it happen. And there's the first one on Dent. Does get cleaned up immediately, but either way, the stasis for Optic is here. And last, well, Zed, Route Man gets paid over the towards that now C has flag. To clutch up for up the game. LA over towards C. It's really going to be on him. Uh, Zed does fall. He was unable to capture or neutralize the home fight there for up the game. It seems like that. Chavo also backtrapped to clear out that flag as well. For now, up the game is still with uh, B and C under their belt, slowly but surely chipping away at the Paris League. And it's still, the pressure from Optic is outstanding, right? Again, Dash is still in a situation where he is deep towards that A flag, and pairs are going to be coming off spawn repeatedly. And the bottom right corner of the map, it takes them so long to be able to cover the A flag, let alone ever having a thought about ever getting the B. So again, Optic doesn't need to get the neutralization. They don't need the triple cap at all. If they get it, great. But they still just have so much pressure on the map. They're in a perfect spot. And now you have important gunfights oh, going exactly. down you know, all really over the place. The pressure on the Paris Legion. Now it's just all about spawn control. You've got to be perfect here. If you're Optic Gaming, if you can hold this for 15, 20 seconds, then that should be maybe job done to bring yourself back into this lead. As you can see, Paris Legion just going to get spawn trapped. Coming out of P1, you've got number nine there. That's going to be Slasher. Number seven watching the cross as well. All the orange arrows starting to fall. Optic Gaming LA take the lead. And that was Quavo and Slasher making big plays as well. Again, you have to make that full retreat. When Optic had four players over towards A, that's not what they want at all. They want to make sure that they at the very least hold the CB cap. They don't necessarily need that triple cap. So they wrap back, clean up everybody. And yes, Paris, actually, no, they wow. can't even stabilize over at the A flag as Optic just has the full map spread. They are running the right. goblin on gonna Paris try and make right play, now. But he's then. spotted by Slasher, so instead has to backtrack towards B. Unfortunately for him, Optic Gaming surrounding the B flag. Shocks with a ton of work to do. He's done well to stay alive, but the kill comes through inevitably. Meanwhile, Dashi still popping off over towards A, still being a nuisance. Credit to him going on a massive spree towards the end of this game. The assistance of Chino is massive. Chino gets himself to Paris Legion. How's the spawn trap feeling? It's not great. Optic Gaming have steamrolled through the final few minutes of this game three. The lead now massive. Paris with no control anywhere on the map. You can say GG on this one. Optic Gaming LA will take this series 3-0. And I could only imagine what the comms are like, because in this situation, Slasher, you see where he's on the minimap right now? That's where he's been pretty much this entire half while his teammates are running a rampage in the spawn. And we have seen that situation so rarely that Dash <laughs> didn't even know where to look. He's like, guys, I'm standing here. They're not where they normally are. Oh, they're even farther back in the map. Oh, dear. That is... Easily one of the best Incredible. Uh, of St. Petro, Dom, we have seen this entire I, year. I think that's if probably the longest the we've best. seen a trip cap really solidified in, and that's just credit to Optic Gaming LA. Their spawn control and manipulation was perfect for a good 30, 45 seconds. They knew exactly where they wanted to be. They knew exactly where Paris Legion were going to be coming from, and massive credit to Chino and Dashi. Uh, really solid stuff over at that A flag for the majority of that half and of course uh, slasher and kenny good job finding the kills off spawn from paris as they're trying to push out a p1 and that of course is that optic gaming la 3-0 paris legion